Hello there, ladies. Welcome back to Clementine Creative. I'm Clementine. I'm back with another video. I mean, can you imagine I sounded like that? I mean, I think those the videos where I sounded like that would be so much more interesting. But anyways, everyone, I am back. Clementine is back on actual fucking Friday. Fucking, I said fracking, you know, because I wanted to say effing and freaking at the same time, so I got fracking. Uh, but yeah, I'm back with another video. And this time, again, character concept art. We're gonna have so much character concept art videos. Uh, just, you know, we're gonna just be spanking them out. I don't know, I, I was searching for a word and I really couldn't find it. Uh, anyways, what are we doing today? So, we have another god. Of course, we're still following the whole Egyptian theme in any ways. So, we have another playable character, another god. Uh, this god is, of course, uh, Anubis. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it in English, but Anubis, you know, the divine emblamer, and, and, and what? Something, you know. Anyways, this guy is basically the god of underworld, helps, you know, dead souls in the underworld or something like that. I honestly forgot, but um, what I like about this character is he could have a lot of magic attacks that would be summoned through melee attacks. So. Um, you know a lot of underworld stuff like dark uh, magic on his staff because as we as you're gonna see on this uh, thumbnail over here basically he's gonna have a sort of a weapon uh, I can't really say what it is because I have no idea what it's called this is the first time I ever saw it uh, when I was looking at references for uh, this project so I saw this and I thought okay this is really cool the, he has to have a sort of a staff weapon uh, because it just makes him look like a guardian and makes him look more powerful because in a sense he is a guardian of the underworld or like You know he invites you To the underworld after you die, so he helps you travel whatever, right? Uh, so he's there to just Bring all the dead people where they're supposed to be so I like that concept and uh, of course uh, if you if you ever looked up some of these things um, he's actually a as a god, he's more of a he's more of a dog figure, so he he doesn't look like a human. He actually is a dog. And uh, if you're gonna see references, you can actually see him on the left side, the second picture, like a dog just sitting on an altar. Uh, that would be that would be uh, Anubis. Now, of, now I don't want to have a dog as a playable character, obviously. So I decided to humanoid him. I'm not humanoid. No, human, human, human. Humanitize, humanitize. That that is not a word, but I try to basically turn turn him into a more humanoid character. Of course, his head uh, is a dog head, uh, but his entire body is more or less human. So, and also, what I've noticed, uh, or at least what I forgot to explain, uh, these gods are very tall. So these they're about two meters and a half tall, even more. Uh, Actually, Anubis is uh, the, the tallest of all gods. Uh, he's not the most powerful of them all, but he's definitely the, mo the tallest of them all. Uh, at least that's how I uh, decided to present him. Um, and they're really large, and their, ha their arms are even, like, their arms are actually larger than a normal human's arm. Um, I would say... There are, the proportions are a little bit stylized, as you could say. If you if you look at the raw concept art, um, his hands or his arms were actually slightly too big, right? Um, but th that was purposely made. Uh, his arms are supposed to look like a little bit longer. Uh, just to me, it just looks a little bit better because he looks a bit taller, and you know, long hands are never bad, especially if you're like a god. Uh, you can just grab someone from the ground, lift them up, you know, so the, the figure is slightly stylized, obviously. Um, I never draw realistic proportions, no matter what I do, and I think that was very obvious from, you know, last week. And uh, what I forgot to say, actually not what I forgot, what I messed up uh, last week, and I have to explain, is, you know, the name of the character is uh, Amun-Ra, uh, the god of sun. Now, it's actually not Amun-Ra. Uh, the guy or whoever it is that you know whatever Ra is I'm assuming he's a male um, uh, he's not uh, he is not known as Amun-Ra uh, Amun-Ra is uh, 
Amun was basically the king of gods. So he was a creator of all gods uh, in Egypt mythology. Um, and when the time came, he actually combined with Ra and became known as Amun Ra. Um, Ra is still Ra, right? Ra is the son of God. Amun Ra is not the son of God. Uh, well, I guess technically here since he com he was combined, but Amun Ra is not the same as Ra. So I kind of messed that up, and I'm really sorry. Uh, I think I did fix it on YouTube and on um, well, not fix it, correct the mistakes on YouTube and Facebook and DeviantArt. So all is good now. Uh, but let's return back to Anubis. Um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a fun here. Uh, as you can see, I'm um, just, you know, messing around. Actually, here I was with my uh, sister-in-law. We were just having <laughs> fun. We were doing Tony Stark here. And I just thought I'd leave this on for a little thing. I think uh, you guys might find it a little bit amusing to see uh, some of the things that happen when you're actually doing concept art. I'm not always 100% serious. Sometimes I'm actually joking like this. Uh, and I thought, why not leave it in? You know, maybe you'll get a couple of good laughs out of it. Uh, here, I'm actually going to do now a really... <laughs> This one is my favorite, you know, uh, Afro Anubis, and uh, yeah, I just had a little bit of fun, and uh, it's really good because uh, it's very stressful, and not just stressful, but doing this is very tiring, uh, because you're always thinking of design, and you know, it's just, you think a lot, and uh, having a sort of a break like this is really nice. Uh, here I'm having a little uh, Sasuke and Naruto moment, yeah, you can totally see that I'm Naruto fan, right? I mean, I just recently, like today, I just watched the the new the the Boruto the movie. It was freaking awesome. I loved it. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. Now we're back to serious moments. You probably saw some psych back there. So yeah, you saw a lot of weird stuff. This is a weird video, okay? I admit it. I'm not sure if it's professional to leave in the whole hairstyle. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there, but um, still, I decided to leave it in. Like I said, you might find it a little bit amusing if you don't comment and uh, next time I won't put that kind of thing in uh, but yeah I, like I said I like to break the mood a little bit because uh, when you're designing it can get very serious and um, the, if you're if it's too serious for some people it might get a little bit uncomfortable you see like for me uh, I'm not very good under super serious um, conditions I'm more of a you know I'm more of a chill person so I, I really like when uh, everything is a little bit more relaxed, you know, it's not so tense, so uh, if I ever feel like I'm tired or if I don't know what to do, uh, I take a break by just, uh, you know, messing around uh, with my char character like that, and uh, it's just fun, you know, a little bit something that I discovered that helps me out. Uh, so here I'm just adding in a bunch of jewelry, uh, this has all been referenced from, I don't know, various movies I saw and various series I saw, various references that I saw because I have a huge reference collection. And uh, that's all there is to it. You know, designing is really referencing. I don't think I can, uh, you know, point that out too uh, and, uh, enough. Yeah, I don't think I can point that out enough. Um, designing is uh, referencing, you know, referencing is very important. All professionals do it. Uh, the reason why some professionals don't use picture references is because they all have it all, they already have it all in their head uh, because through you know through years of referencing you already have all those images stored no real need for you to you know have images open on 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 your second screen or anything like that but of course I think everybody starts off like that uh, nobody starts with 100% knowledge uh, it's impossible and if somebody does start off like that, I would really like to meet that person. Um, but yeah, remember when designing, it's all about referencing. If you want to design a, you know, a specific uh, character, uh, you know, search for, you know, search for whatever elements it is that you're trying to draw on this character. And uh, it's very important that um, when you're designing, try to pick a theme that already exists. So don't try to go with some weird. Like, okay, I'm gonna give a stupid example. A witch, like a character, like a witch, that is dressed in a bikini, right? Ridiculous, right? Just try to pick a more grounded theme. Egypt, just go with Egypt and add some fantasy to that. I think I actually explained that previous week already. Uh, designing is really just taking what already exists and, you know, if we're talking for entertainment design, which is video games, movies, theme parks, whatever, basically we're just, you just take whatever already exists and add some... Uh, entertainment items or, or entertainment elements to it uh, magic 
weapons or you know things like that different colors so that's basically what you want to do so here I'm basically I'm sorry that I'm using the word basically so much uh, it's subconsciously uh, so here I'm basically now doing the back view uh, I think you you saw some uh, Indian stuff here what not Indian uh, music um, okay so here I'm searching for back references I'm sorry you had to see that <laughs> What did I say? Indian music back then. Uh, I'm listening to Arabic music here. Uh, Arabic slash Egyptian music. Um, you know, uh, just helps me be in the whole mood. So yeah, here I'm just referencing um, the back muscles, trying to get them in as correct as possible, of course. Again, stylizing everything a little bit, emphasizing certain parts a little bit too. So now just uh, throwing some of that in, throwing in the back of the arm you know, drawing the triceps and the back of the forearm, you know, back of the hand and uh, a lot of copy and pasting, you know, I don't, uh, I really prefer that you do, not prefer, I really recommend that you do poses straight on where you can just uh, copy everything on the other side. Uh, even though humans are not, you know, symmetric, not at all, um, you can you can still sort of do that and get away with it. Plus it's a, it's a design, you know, and uh, it's supposed to showcase the design, so we're not really going for the illustrative part here. Throwing in some of these lines. Now these lines are actually later on going to become, you know, uh, way more detailed. In real life, what they look like is a bunch of little stones uh, uh, together, and it sort of forms a line. Uh, but of course I'm not going to go draw each individual stone, I'm just going to draw a couple of li like a bunch of lines that indicate what is supposed to be there. Uh, of course I know what's going to be there. Uh, so yeah, you know, some you don't have to literally draw everything out. If you have, especially with uh, jewelry, if you have a jewelry that has very fine and small stones, uh, let's say it has a bunch of them, and uh, if the stones don't have to be each and individually visible, just, you know, generalize them like I do here. Uh, there's a million little stones in real life, like a real necklace, there's a million little stones. But I'm not gonna draw a million stones on his necklace, I'm just gonna draw lines that indicate what's supposed to be there. Uh, of course, when the actual concept goes to, you know, being painted, that's when I actually go in and draw all those stones. But um, again, I'm not gonna actually draw all the stones, I'm just gonna throw in the texture. So, you know, you wanna you wanna try to find shortcuts. You know, it's very important that uh, in this business, you have to find a very good line between, you know, quality and speed. Uh, you need to have both. Sadly, in this world, you need to have good quality and very good speed. Um, but don't let that, you know, don't let that, I guess, overcome your thoughts. Um, you don't have to concentrate on the time. The time really comes on its own. It's really all about the qualities that you want to concentrate on. The quality, again, comes with time, but you can actively pra practice it. Uh, whilst time, it's, it's gonna happen, you know. You're gonna get eventually faster. I mean, when I started my YouTube channel, it took me eight hours to complete um, one line arc, right? So now it takes me like what three to three hours to, to complete one art line arc, and that's like a huge improvement. That's five hours of improvement, and that is a lot. So yeah, here I'm basically I'm just fixing a couple of these things, man. You know, sometimes when I'm getting a little bit irritated with doing one of the same thing, uh, I get tend to get sloppy a little bit, so I have to go back and fix some of that. Uh, but here I'm throwing in this uh, dark stuff to or you know gray stuff to isolate the character from the background making it pop out a little bit more and of course I'm gonna color this not gray but it's gonna be more of an earth color more brownish you know just to follow that theme of Egypt but again I'm, he is its own character so I don't want him to have the same gray thing as Ra uh, I want his to be uh, a slightly different so I add a little bit of, um, of violet color to his sandy color uh, and that'll look really, really nice, you'll see. So here I'm just adding the color, now look at that, I'm gonna add a little bit of that, and I think that looks really nice. I think that looked really nice. Okay, so here I'm just adding some random squares. Again, this is all for presentation, uh, making it just look nice for when a client sees it or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the title, and that'll be the end for, uh, for this character. But I do have something else that I want to show you today. Uh, previous week I said that if you want to, that I'd be, you know, I would be really interested in seeing your take on the character um, that I was doing, you know. And somebody actually took me up on that. 
challenge or whatever I would call it and I did and I'm gonna show you what that person did so um, let's go to that so this concept piece was done by Alice, uh, Alex Atkinson and Alex if I'm pronouncing your second name wrong I'm really sorry I had quite a hard time to uh, uh, to practice it but um, here it is, uh, here's Alex's approach to Ra. We can see he has some alien sort of technology on his back, uh, which I really think is cool, uh, because I do think that uh, it's interesting to add some sort of alien technology to an old civilization, especially, you know, they had all those pyramids or whatever, so them having some sort of alien technology is not that unbelievable. You know, those uh, pyramids were very hard to build. Those are very large uh, buildings. So I really think that his take is interesting especially because it's different than mine uh, there's rarely any similarity there's almost no similarities between mine and his uh, the only similarity would be some of the little things that I guess some of the jewelry and that's it and I really really like it I really do uh, so Alex Atkinson again probably not pronouncing your second name right um, thank you so much for you know sharing this with me I had so much fun talking to you and uh, yeah, if anyone else wants to post their stuff, just, you know, contact me on my email. But that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I, and of course, I hope you liked Alex's design. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And then we're gonna create four... After that, we're gonna create four enemy type characters. So three lower rank bosses.